What is up guys, Brick Rod Studios here with another 2016 LEGO Star Wars review. And today we got the Carbon Freezing Chamber, which is 25 US dollars and contains four minifigures including that exclusive bug not minifigure. Amazing set, even though it's just the Carbon Freezing Night section. <laughs> but it's pretty cool, hopefully we get like an add-on, maybe a UCS set or like even a big play set, that would be nice. Because we haven't received any Cloud City section since 2003, which was the Cloud City set, which is very sought after. I actually have that set, so look for that review coming in the future. But it's nice that we we're finally seeing some Cloud City sections, even if it's just this freezing chamber. So I'll take an in-depth look at this, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Enjoy this review. First off, the Ugnaught minifigure, which is exclusive to the set, back printing. Pretty nice. Hansel minifigure. No back printing or like printing. He also has a double sided face. Here's the carbonate. Pretty cool. Second, the ball fit minifigure. Here he is without the backpack and Gun. The set in its entirety. The first feature. If you pull this knob back, you can lower this, flip it. Pretty cool. And you can unlock this. Is that your mini here? And also, that's a printed piece. And you can set pencil down here. Flip them up. That's pretty much all to the set. 2003 Carbonite Freezing Chamber, which was included in the 2003 Cloud City set. Main feature of this section is you can bring this down, switch it out for the original Hansel minifigure, which is also included into this set, which is also nice. So, pretty cool. Well, I'll give you guys my final thoughts on this LEGO set, and uh, yeah, catch you guys right now. Well, set offers a lot with the Ugnaught and the Bofet, and also that Hansel minifigure, but is it worth the $25 price point? I say wait for it to go down, maybe 5 bucks before you grab it. But that Ugnaught is a pretty cool minifigure, so if you guys want to go out and get it now, it wouldn't be a bad idea. But one complaint that I still have is the manual. I can't wait to put cardboard, even on these $25 sets, because sometimes it gets annoying. Anyways. Pretty cool set overall. Yeah. Here's the box. Shows all the features that I showed in the in depth review. So, I'll have more Lego Star Wars and other things out in the future. So, subscribe to Brick Rod Studios and just keep building, guys. Just keep building!